Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Dallas Pruitt, and this is the MFM Podcast. For those of you who are new here on the podcast, we welcome you. Uh, I have been here from the inception. I'm actually the resident consultant at the Multifamily Mindset. I'm also the owner and founder of Growth Guide Co. and Live Life Mission. And it is my life's work to help driven individuals and teams unlock new levels of growth and fulfillment in their pursuits and ultimately live life to the fullest. Life is an acronym that I have taught and broke down since the inception of this work that I do as a coach and consultant. And that acronym stands for Learn, Implement, Fail, Evolve. And I actually want to dive into some replacements, if you will, or these specific points on today's podcast. In the same nature as always with these weekly episodes on Thursday, we try to keep them to about 10 minutes because we want to get to the most important points that we can and give you an introduction, if you will, or an entry point, if you will, into what it is we're about here at the Multifamily Mindset. Yes, we help people move forward in their desire and pursuit of syndicating multifamily deals and diving further and growing further into the real estate world, but we're also a personal development company. We're a mindset company and That's what I want to touch on today is some tools to help you with your approach, some tools to help you with yourself, to get out of your own way, to help you stay unstuck in this game of growth and achieving your goals. And again, that's not just isolated to achieving this, these goals and this great work that you're wanting to accomplish in the multifamily space. Uh, This is in totality right? We, I strive in the work that I do to treat the person as, as a whole. And, you know, the principles that work in the business front, a lot of those same principles are part of the foundation of what works in a home, are part of the foundation of what works in one's personal life. And that's the work that I do. And so today what I want to do is dive into some trade-offs, replacements, if you will, like I said, But in order to do that, I want to talk about a few of the mental errors that we make as people uh, in the game of growth, in the game of achieving our goals, in the game of life. And I'm not going to go in any one particular order, and I'm going to keep these pretty brief, but I do want to spend some time just highlighting a couple of these four to be exact. And the first is spending too much time judging ourselves and others. One, I just want to ask the question and maybe even invite everyone who's listening to the podcast today to just stop and reflect on how many times, maybe even within the last 12 hours, depending on when you're listening to this, you judged yourself for a mistake, for a thought that you had, uh, that you judged someone else, a coworker, the CEO of your organization, your leader your neighbor, (laughs) chances are if you're human and even a good human at that, possibly even a great human at that, you've already notched up a couple times in which you did this in the last 12 hours. It's a very common mental error we make as people because again, we're imperfect and also controlling our thoughts and thought work is not something that like comes naturally to us as people. That's not a skill set that many people have acquired or even thought of in their own personal development. But it's so powerful and it's so important. In fact, a lot of what I do revolves around helping people with, with their thoughts. Thus, why we're talking about mental errors today. The second mental error or trap, if you will, that I want to talk about is spending too much time over analyzing our next move and really just overthinking in general. I'll invite all listeners again. And again, you could use the time frame of like the last 12 hours. And my invite is this. How many of you within the last 12 hours have thought about your next big move you want to make? Maybe it's a modification or an adjustment in your business 
and the way it operates. Maybe it's a completely different business model that you feel called to lean into and do, right? Maybe it's getting your health back in check because it's been just kind of lingering for a while and you've found yourself in thought about that and analyzing that today. I'm not sure what your unique situation is, but chances are, again, if you're a good, great human being, you have found yourself in the last 12 hours overanalyzing something. I know I have. Number three, one of the mental errors that we find ourselves in often is we waste really valuable time trying to avoid mistakes. We spend a lot of time in preparation when we don't need to be stuck in that preparation. Now, I'm not saying that preparation is not crucial, is not important. In fact, it's one of the most valuable things that you can do with any great work you're striving to accomplish is prepare. But there becomes there comes a certain point in the process where preparation becomes a crutch. And again, instead of moving forward, knowing that we're probably not going to do it perfectly the first 10, 15, 20, maybe even 30 times, uh, let alone the first time, we, we, we stay stuck avoiding those mistakes, avoiding those failures, avoiding the type of work we know we're capable of and really unleashing and letting go for fear of looking stupid in front of other people. And it's, it's a real trap. How many can relate? I can't see hands, but I'm sure there are a lot of you. And then the fourth one that I wanted to talk about today, this mental error is stopping, retreating, self-sabotaging, if you will, right before a major breakthrough because of the level of fear that trickles in of the unknown. And what I want to do today is just kind of highlight the replacements for these and why I've developed the live life model the way I have and why I use these keywords as anchors, as North Stars, if you will, in my philosophy and approach to the game of growth and discovering deeper fulfillment in my life, increasing my life satisfaction, helping others increase their life satisfaction, helping others unlock further levels, deeper levels of growth and fulfillment and success in their lives. So let's go back to number one, spending time judging, right? The replacement here, the correction, the course correction, if you will, is to learn. The value of learning or the principle of learning. It really is where the magic happens, right? And what I mean by that in regards to what I talked about earlier is instead of spending time judging yourself, instead of spending so much time judging others, instead of making a judgment on the business and everything else, what if, I'll, I'll, I'll pose it this way today, what if in your own personal life, in your current endeavors, in the current situations you face, what if you spent less time judging yourself, judging others, judging the business you're a part of, your team you're a part of? What if you spent more time leaning into learning about all of those things? What if you spend a little bit of time of like in the curious section of, of thought? <laughs> How would things differ? How would things change? How would your perspective shift? What, what would you learn? What could you have the potential to learn? And how would it impact your life? I have found in my own personal endeavors, and again, working with others throughout the course of the years, that learning is key. It is one of the foundational components to a growth mindset, is being able to learn and be a, a lifelong learning machine. Those who are the most successful, those who create the greatest works out there in this world, they are high-level learners. High-level learners become high-level earners. It just is fact. But we don't recognize how often we cripple ourselves by making such a quick judgment and such a, a negative judgment on people, on ourselves, and on situations that we come in contact with. It doesn't bode well for your future. It doesn't bode well for the business's future, and it doesn't bode well for your future success to stay stuck in that mental trap 
of judgment, 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 judgment. So the replacement there again is learn. The unlock there is learn. Learn about others. Learn about yourself. Learn about the business. And lean more into that type of thinking, that type of thought. Okay, number two. And again, we're going to be short on time, so I'm going to dive through these quick. Spending too much time over analyzing your next move, thinking too much, right? Staying stuck in that overthinking process. The key here is to implement, is to put things into practice, to test. It's important to test. It's the only way to move forward. And again, staying stuck in preparation is a form of delay, <laughs> It's a form of procrastination. Preparation truly can become a form of procrastination if we're not careful, if we're not strategic, if we're not conscious. And so that's, again, step two in the, in the framework, in the model, in my life's work has always been implement, right? Put it into practice. See. See for yourself what works and what doesn't. And that leads us to the third here, and that is fail. Safety is something that our brains seek. But without risk, we cannot grow. We cannot unlock these further levels of growth and fulfillment in the things that we feel called to accomplish and do in our lives. And so it's strengthening. It's the invite to strengthen your relationship with failure. And there's a lot of reasons why we, we avoid failure, right? We don't want to look stupid in front of others. We don't want to make a mistake. We don't want to fail. But I'm telling you, perfectionism is a trap. Perfectionism is a form of procrastination, if you will, again. Um, true progress looks like a lot of mistakes. And one of the most common themes amongst great achievers and successful human beings in all arenas is they fail more than the others. They fail better than the others. It's not that they stay stuck in the same failures. They take those failures, they learn from them, and they fail a little bit better with each and every step. And they take a lot of steps forward. Um, it's just how the game of growth and achieving goals works. And so, that, again, that's the third. And then the fourth, evolve, coming back to the full model of learn, implement, fail, evolve. The key to not continuously retreat every time you're close to a breakthrough is to lean in, let go, and allow yourself to change based off what your life's data is giving you. Look, so many people resist change. And if there's anything that you get out of today's drip, today's podcast, it is this, and that is that change is a good thing. Change is a synonym. Change is a synonym for growth. And there is no way that I have found for anybody to tap into their full potential or to tap into a business's full potential or a team's full potential. There is no way that is possible or it can be made possible without evolution, without change. And so one of my grandest invites today based off you looking at your own current situation is be open to change. And live by this model. <laughs> Replace judgment for learning. Replace overanalyzation, overthinking with implementation. Strategic and incremental implementation. Replace safety with risk. Replace safety with failure and strengthen that relationship of yours with that really powerful vehicle for growing and discovering deeper fulfillment. And be open to evolution. Instead of staying stuck, instead of the same old, same old, instead of doing it like everybody else has done it, instead of doing it like you've always thought it needs to be done, instead of staying stuck in partnering with your ego, be open to evolution, be open to the details that the market, to the, that your life, that your gut, and that God are all placing in front of you. That, those data points, they will tell you a lot. And they are key to unlocking positive change, which again, for me, looks like you being able to unlock new levels of growth and fulfillment, deeper levels of those two things than you ever thought were possible. And again, there's no way forward in that process. There's no way to make those things a reality without 
evolution without change. That is the name of the game. So hopefully you were able to grab something of high value from today's episode. I wanted to dive into this. This is actually part of a larger framework that I use within the work that I do as a coach and consultant. If you'd like to learn more about those things, get in contact with us at the Multifamily Mindset. You can follow the links in the show today. And again, yes, we help individuals deepen their skill set and successfully navigate the world of multifamily syndication and become real estate uh, professionals and move forward in their lives and in their pursuits there. But more than that, we are a personal development company and we are in the business of helping people truly grow and become the best versions of themselves and grow the best versions of their lives. That is the work that I am most passionate about. That's what these Thursday episodes are all about. We are grateful as always that you are here on the podcast with us and we'll see you guys back on the podcast again next week. Multi-family mindset. Podcast. Podcast.